Hey, welcome back to another video. This month's Future King here once again, and today I'm going to be reacting to the 12th and final episode of season one of Comey Can't Communicate. And yes, I said season one because, as we know right now, there is going definitely going to be another season. Hopefully, it gets a complete adaptation. I'm serious. This manga so deserves it. it is so fucking good, and it gets only gets better after this. Um. Like, for those of you anime-only watchers, just wait until Rumiko is introduced. It gets so fucking good. But anyways, though. Let's just begin. No preamble whatsoever. This is the final episode of Season 1. Let's do this. The episode will begin in 3, 2, 1, go. So we're continuing with the, uh... With the cultural festival. Oh, is that girl that was introduced in the last episode? She's a maid as well, I guess. Now, Jimmy's always planting something. This is just something, something you have to get used to. Uh. <laughs> Not much to say yet in this episode. What, is Najimi, like, um, trying to pretend to be a fucking mob boss or something? <laughs> I love the librarian was there, too, from earlier in the series. <sighs> she can't handle all of the mental stimuli. So wait, there's a haunted house too? I thought that idea was rejected. That was... Yep. Yeah, that was the Amaze, I think. I thought that idea was rejected and they were just doing a cultural festival. Or, or I mean a maid cafe during the cultural festival. What the hell's Yamai gonna do? Wait, I think I remember this part from the manga. Maybe? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I gotta respect you, Mai. Gotta respect you, Mai, a little bit. I mean... She, I mean, she fucking went for it. Respect, girl. I still hate you, but respect, girl. Of course, it's not gonna work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> of course, she's not gonna be able to say anything you hear. I just... I love this series. <laughs> and now Najimi gets... It's... <laughs> what the... 
I've actually never had a chocolate covered banana before. I wonder if they're any good. Those are two flavors that you wouldn't think would go well together, honestly. She's so pretty that she can't even be drawn properly, I mean. I really love these like montages that happen in the series. Where like... Be... Sounds like a cool cultural festival to me. I, like I was saying before, I really like uh, the parts in the series where we have like a montage where with no like voice acting, no sound effects, basically just this really calm and wholesome music played over it. I really love those segments in the series. And this happened multiple times, not just in this episode. <laughs> so sad it's almost over for three months. <laughs> Right. Pretty sure the two of them are gonna dance. Just a hunch. No, it's not because I remember it. I don't remember it that, that well at all, actually. Dance with her. <sighs> Sorry, I, not a gigantic amount I have to say in this episode, but it's just so entertaining. I've never seen a three-person dance before either. They're literally just playing Ring Around the Rosie. What the fuck? <laughs> playing Ring Around the, Ro the Rosie without the song. Without falling down, I guess. <laughs> that is totally in character. <laughs> sure, tell, keep telling yourself that, Yamai. Why the fuck not? <laughs> With her look, I... I don't know. Hey, call me terrified the entire entire time. Maybe really just nervous. Oh wait, oh no, it's because it was getting closer to her time. <laughs> 15 second intro. What the hell's going on here? Oh, he, he's, he's singing. Singing the intro song? I really don't remember this. Holy shit. He's Tadano singing the intro song.
It's actually pretty common to find seiyus that are able to sing well because a lot of Japanese voice actors are like singers uh, also. Unfortunately, it's a lot more rare to find English voice actors that I can actually sing well. So it'll be interesting if this show gets a dub. Um, to see, like, if the voice actors they'll find will be able to sing good, or if they'll be bad singing, or if they'll just keep in the Japanese audio for the for, for this part. Um. He says it was embarrassing, but, like, he was really fucking going at it, though. Anyways. Wow. So, that's it for the first season of the anime. I really hope that report that season two is coming spring of next year was not bullshit. Because I want more so badly. I'm completely caught up in the manga, but I want, I want more of the anime. Okay. More of the anime. Yeah, so anyways, that was the final episode, and it was a fantastic, one of the best episodes in the series, which the final episode of a season should always be, so that makes perfect sense. Uh, so my favorite segment was definitely the continuation of the of the Maid Cafe from the previous episode. Um, actually, you know what, I think my favorite... Hmm. It's so difficult to choose a specific moment from when Tadano was dressed as a girl. But I'll just say the maid cafe because there's so much to it. I think my least favorite segment honestly was probably when they were dancing in a circle. They are basically doing Ring Around the Rosie. But even that was entertaining. It's like picking a least favorite segment is usually pretty tough but I think it's been the toughest here though. Alright. Like even the final segment where we actually got to hear Tadano sing was so good. Um, you know, he claimed he was embarrassed, and he probably was, but he still really went at it, though. Like, he pushed himself into that, so. Anyways, uh, let me know. That's it, it for this episode and this video. Let me know. It, uh, if I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell. It'll if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, because I release new videos all the time, share it around other places if you think it deserves it, such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Try to help get it and my channel more attention. And make sure to comment down below, because that will help out my channel as well. Let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on this video and on this episode, on the series as a whole. Um, if you're an anime-only watcher, uh, then tell me some predictions you have for the future. And if you're a manga reader, what are you most excited for for the future of this anime? Anyways, hope you, I'm excited for Rumiko's introduction, personally, which will probably happen, I think, toward, I'm predicting towards the end of Season 2. Uh, so it'll be a while before we get into the really, really great stuff, but yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.